So another data type in Python that we learned today is a dictionary. So we've talked about a list, we've talked about tuples, we've talked about sets. So dictionaries are uh, used to store data values, but in this case, uh, they are stored as pairs. So you have a key and a value, right? So this is the syntax for dictionaries. Um, so you have uh, a set of a pair of a key and a value uh, in curly brackets. And a few things to remember about dictionaries as well is the fact that they are ordered, they're changeable, and no duplicates are allowed. So these keys here, they are unique within the dictionary itself, and um, they the dictionaries are indexed by, by, by the keys. So these keys can be any unchangeable uh, type, like strings, they can be numbers, they can be even tuples, right? So, but you cannot use lists, for instance. You can't use lists as keys since they're they're changeable. And we'll look at you know a few examples here, uh, so that you you learn more uh, about dictionaries. So, let's dive into it. So, like I mentioned, um, dictionaries are <clears throat> written with curly brackets and have keys and values. So, let's say you know we have D one here. So we have a key and a value that's assigned to it. So those keys can be, you know, anything, right? So we can have strings, for example, let's say age. Um, and the value here is 25, for example. Okay, so another key um, name, for example, and um, a value assigned to this is, uh, Maybe I'll say Eric. Um, you know, you, and you can keep going on this. So just make sure you have, you know, the syntax is key and a value, right? So let's say, you know, age, name, and I don't know, um, uh, height, maybe. Let's say height. Um, and let's use 5.59. And you'll see here if I print that, print D1. Yeah, so this is uh, how you create a, a, a basic basic dictionary. It's key and a value that's assigned to it, okay? And if I want to print the, um, you know, the value of age here, I'm just going to print. Uh, the name of the dictionary is D1. And... I want to print uh, age, the value associated with age, okay? So if I run that, then it tells me 25, and you can do that with, um, you know, printing the value of the key name or the value of the height name, or this should have been height. Okay. And like I mentioned, um, dictionaries do not allow duplicate values. Uh, so if I do try to add uh, another key called age, and I assign um, a, you know, just random 38 to it, the duplicate values will overwrite the existing one. So you'll see here that we already had 25 associated, you know, the value 25 to the key age. So if I add another duplicate value called age, it's going to overwrite it. So if, if we run this, um, you'll see here that, um, you know, it's, you know, the age is now instead of 25 as before, it's now 38. And so if I print this, um, you know, if I get the value of age, it's now 38 instead of 25. So it doesn't allow duplicate. So when you have duplicate values, it's gonna overwrite the existing one. So keep that in mind too. So I can, I just wanna keep one. That was just an example. Uh, so let me just rerun that, okay. So we've seen um, we've seen length of uh, you know list and stuff. So it's it's the same concept. So if you want to know the length of this dictionary, you know how many keys or you know how many pairs uh, is this dictionary. So you just use length uh, function uh, len. So length d1. You run that. It says three because yes, we have one pair here, uh, one pair here, and another one, of course. So this is a three-pair 
dictionary in this case. So use the length just the same uh, as the same as, um, you know, we've seen a list and the other, uh, other data types as well. And uh, for the, uh, I guess, the, the, the type of um, uh, keys that you can use or values here, um, I know I've, you know, I, I just put here strings and numbers, but you can have a list as well for your values. Um, and for keys, you can also use tuples. So let's, let's add here, for example, uh, a list for, uh, for the values here. Let's say favorite colors, for example. Let me put favorite colors. Favorite colors. Value. And I would assign um, a list here. Let's say I put red. Um, put uh, maybe yellow. So this is a list. And you know that because of the square brackets. So let's say purple. Okay. And this is my list. And that's the end of the dictionary. So I'm going to close the curly bracket. Oh, maybe I have already. Did I make? Oh, yeah, I already had that. Okay. So if I run that, um, you see here that favorite colors is a list of colors. So you can have your values to be list, but your values, um, I mean, list cannot, you can't use list as keys because those are changeable. Okay, so I think I mentioned that in the introduction as well. All right. So um, uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, let me clean this up a little bit so that uh, it's easier to see. Um, so let's have that. Uh, this way so that is easier to see and you can do that too um, so with dictionaries uh, yeah I you can you can have it this way um, just have it at this order uh, that way you can clearly see keys and values associated with them um, otherwise if it's a long line then it's kind of it kind of gets crowded so um, how do you how do you access um, I know we've seen, um, you know, the value that's associated with a particular, a particular key here, um, but you can also use um, a method called get uh, to access. So you can do it this way, you know, um, like we've seen, or you can also use uh, get. So D1, for example, get, and then uh, if I use age, and I run that, it's also the same thing. So you can either do it this way um, by accessing the, uh, the value of key age, or you can use the method get, and we'll, we'll look at the different methods as well. Um, but I just wanted to, to put that out there early on since we already kind of have an example like that here. We probably can look at um, you know the different methods here as well. Uh, to see what we have. I'm not going to go over um, all of these, but uh, I think some of them may be interesting to look at. So if I want to get like all the keys of this dictionary, um, this is for that. So the keys method uh, will return a list of all the keys in the dictionaries. So, um, you know, we have age, name, height, and favorite colors. And if I want to get, uh, you know, the values of I think there's well, yes, there you go. Values here. Um, I use that one as well. It's going to tell me uh, 25. Eric was the name. 59 is the height. And then we have a list here of the favorite colors as well. So, and so, like I mentioned, um, dictionaries can be can be changed. So, if you want to add a new item, for example, now that you've seen the list of the keys, if you want to add a new item to this, uh, this, you know, the original. Dictionary D1 here, uh, you know, we can do that. So let's say this is how you do it, uh, first of all. So D1 is the name of the dictionary. Uh, you want to add, for example, weight. So this is, you know, the list of the keys. Uh, so if I want to add a new key called weight, for example, I'm just going to put, you know, the name of the, uh, 
the dictionary, I add a new key and I assign a value to it. You know, let's say 125, for example. So if I run D1, then you see here that the dictionary is updated. So now, um, you know, weight, a value of 125 is added to the key uh, weight because we've added that. And you can do the same thing as well for values. Uh, if you want to update the list of the values, you can do that as well. So uh, same format, uh, syntax, uh, you know, D1. Uh, let's say, uh, what should I change? Um, instead of name Eric, for example, I'm going to do name equals, uh, I'll, I'll use John. I'll use John, and so if I print that, you'll see here that name is now is now John. So you can update. Uh, that's just to show you that you can update uh, dictionaries. You know the keys or the values. So what else can we can we have here? Can we use? Uh, let's see. Let's say let's try uh, items. So items uh, pretty much um, get you the you know the list of the pairs like the keys and the values so um you know if you use that and you run it you'll see here you know this is a pair right age 25 named john so that's pretty much what this method does is just to return uh you know a, a list of the pairs the the eight the the key value pair kind of thing so that's what that does but if I want to know if a particular um, a key or, you know, a, a particular specified key is in this dictionary, uh, I use the, um, you know, if, for example, if I use if in, so if age, so this is almost like asking is age in this dictionary kind of thing. So in D1, if it is, so print, uh, yes, it is. I don't know, whatever. So if I hit print, it says it is because yes, um, age is indeed part of this, uh, the dictionary, this dictionary. So because you listed all the items here, so but if you want to see how you know if if it, you know if it's if it was like a, a big dictionary and you want to check uh, if you know a key is in there is it is present for whatever application you're doing. And you can use this, but we'll dive a little bit more into if else statements uh, later on in this course. But I just wanted to to mention that you can do that here as well, just as a FYI. So um, we've seen, uh, let's see here, we've seen items, we've seen values and keys. Let's see another method here uh, that we can quickly see. Uh, let's try update. So update is just um, it's just going to update the dictionary with items, uh, with new. I mean, with items from from whatever uh, your you, you know from a given argument. So, for example, um, this is the syntax. So I want to update. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to update? Uh, I don't want to see favorite color as a list. So what I can do is I can update that. So what I will do is um, square um, round brackets and then curly brackets here to indicate that I'm, you know, accessing this particular item in the dictionary. So uh, favorite color. And now I'm just going to have one color, and that's uh, uh, red. Well, I already have red. Um, yeah, you can do anything really, but uh, let's just make it simple and say white. So if I print the one. So now I no longer have favorite colors as this list because I've changed it. I've updated it, you know. So by using this update method. So let me use a another um, you know dictionary here as an example. So let's say um, 
I have, uh, you know, just random subject. Uh, and let's say engineering. Uh, let's say country. Country, let's say USA, oh, USA, um, I just want to give another example here, uh, car, let's say Tesla, I put year, Uh, 2022 for example let's run that oops so let's see uh, what else we have here um, let's try pop so pop will will just uh, remove uh, an item you know with a specified key name so let's say I want to um, remove a country in this case so if I print D2, um, so country is is now removed from the dictionary. Okay. Uh, what else we have? Oh, okay. So what's what's the difference between pop and pop item? So pop item will it's just going to remove the last inserted item. So if I you know say D2 pop item, it's just going to remove the last. The last, uh, in this case, is going to be, oops, it's going to be year uh, because that's that's the last um, item that I've inserted in the uh, in the in the dictionary. So that's really the difference between pop item and pop. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So clear um, is just going to empty the dictionary. Uh, it's just going to completely wipe it out. Uh, and so I don't want to use that because I, I want to keep going with this example. But yes, if you want to clear or if you want to empty the dictionary, uh, use a clear uh, like this. And then just hit run. It's going to remove or it's going to clear. It's going to empty uh, the, the dictionary. So let's see here. So copy. Um, just as the name um, says it, it's going to copy uh, the, it's going to make a copy of, of, of the dictionary here. So um, you can go ahead and try that as well. So yeah, I mean, you can just go ahead and play around with, uh, with these different methods with dictionaries and, and see what you get. So that's also part of the learning as you try trial and error and whatnot. So So, uh, from keys, for example, it's gonna it's gonna return a dictionary. It's gonna return the the you know dictionary with the specified keys and values. Um, get uh, is gonna return a value. We've seen that already. Uh, what have we not seen? Set default. So set default is gonna return the value of a specified key. Um, so if the key does not exist, uh, you'll have to you know, insert the key with the specified value. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for that. Um, so, yeah, I think this is about it for, for dictionaries as well as far as basics. Um, there's other applications like, you know, using if, using for, using, you know, for loop, looping, you know, looping techniques in general or... Uh, for uh, functions and other things that we haven't seen yet. But as far as you know, creating, removing, updating, or changing, uh, you know, the basics of, uh, of dictionaries. I think this is, it's covered it all pretty much. But let me know if you have any, any questions or any comments or any feedback, um, and I'll be, I'll be glad to help. So thank you and see you in another video.